Hi, my name is Miss Graham and I'm one of the class teachers for Year 3. We are going to do our Help at Home meeting virtually because unfortunately we can't really see you face to face at the moment. So the overview of what we'll talk about will be who will your child be working with, expectations for Year 3, timetable, homework, Year 3 Objectives and Reading Focus. Hello everybody, it's Mrs Ali. I'm um, the other Year 3 teacher alongside Miss Graham. I'm just going to go through who will be working with your child uh, in the Year 3 classroom. So you have both teachers and you also have our teaching assistants. That's Mrs Crowder, she will work with both classes. Miss Rooney works as a one-to-one -one support. We have Mrs Akron who is our EEL support. Uh, and supporting children who have English as a, an additional language and we have Mrs Hall who is the school's learning mentor who may work with some children too. Other staff that your children will uh, work with are Mr Abraham, the head deputy head teacher. He will um, cover in class and support when we have our PPA cover our planning time and the other teacher who will be doing that is Mr Mayo who the children have met before. One of the first, first things that we wanted to talk about is September 2020. This year has looked a lot different to previous years when your child has started in a new class. Um, we just wanted to talk about how they've settled into their new routines and um, I've got to say they're absolutely amazing children. They've taken to all the new changes in school so well. Uh, one of our main priorities has been keeping safe and we've done that in a variety of ways. We have made sure that we our curriculum uh, is linked more to well-being and uh, we've adapted work to make sure that children are confident, especially since they've been away from school for such a long time, for some of them anyway. Um, so we've adapted our curriculum, well-being is high, a high priority for us. We've also made sure that our routines in school reflect the new COVID rules, so there's extra cleaning in class that happens regularly throughout the day. Children are sat uh, facing forwards and in rows. Again, um, they've, they've adapted so well to this, we're so proud of them. Each child has their own stationery. Um, we make sure that hand washing is incorporated into our day throughout the day, lots of times repeatedly. And again, um, things like the timetables have been adapted. So children have staggered play times and lunches where they are not, um, you know, going to come into uh, interact with other bubbles. But again, we are so pleased and we'd like to say thank you for um, helping support us by making sure you social distance when you're dropping off and picking up. We're also going to go through some of our Year 3 expectations. So with PE kits, we do have PE on Tuesdays and Thursday, but for the moment, definitely for the first four weeks, we're not going to be getting changed into our PE kits but it would be great if our children had some suitable footwear for doing PE outdoors. The children can bring in their PE kits and we'll just keep them in school until we'll start getting them changed. We also would love it if you could read at least three times a week with your child and note it down in their reading diary. And we'll also be sending out weekly spellings that the children can do on a spelling shed. So in year three, for the children's homework, we'll be having the weekly spellings, we'll be expecting reading at home, and for our topic, we'll be sending out homework books with an overview of all the different tasks that the children can do linked to the Stone Age. So over the next few weeks, they can be working on that. Also, we've got some online platforms where the children can access some more homework, which we'll discuss later. Reading is such a huge priority at Devonshire Royal School. Um, we really want children to have the best learning outcomes and the best possible start in life. Young children who enjoy reading very much are nearly five times as likely to read above the expected level for their age compared with young people who do not enjoy reading at all. That is such a massive impact. Um, 
and children who read for pleasure are likely to do significantly better at school than their peers, making greater progress in maths, development of vocabulary and spelling. In school, um, we encourage the children, once they get onto the bronze level diaries, to choose a book uh, from any of these genres here. We've got a, a list of um, tips here that you can help support your children re with reading. When they have read 10 books on the bronze level diaries, they are then, um, they make sure they fill in reviews for each book. They, once they've done that, they've met that challenge, they can then get a prize and they move on to the silver reading diary. If your child is on a dinosaur reading diary, they have to read 20 reads. The books are a little bit slimmer, so they have to read 20 books. Sorry, not 20 reads, it's 20 books. And once they've met that challenge, they will again also get a prize. I think it's normally a certificate, a badge, and a bookmark. And then they will move on to a different um, reading diary. So a little bit different from Key Stage 1. So vocabulary is also really important, and it's one of our targets in school. Children who read for pleasure every day understood 26% more words than those who never read at all in their spare time. And teenagers from book-loving homes knew 42% more words than their peers who had grown up with few books. Now there's a range of things that you can do here, some top tips to help develop your child's vocabulary. And in our overview that we'll send home of the spellings, we'll also include the key vocabulary that we'll be teaching the children too. As Miss Gray mentioned earlier, we will be sending out homework on a variety of online platforms as well. Thank you for all the work that you did over the summer. We will continue to be using platforms like MyMaths, uh, which is great. It lets you go a child to child go through an activity, and um, if they not you know don't get it quite right, they can always have another go at it. Um, lots of repetition. Read theory helps to support reading and comprehension skills. Purple Mash, there's always a variety of activities, including ICT and online safety activities, which we might uh, put on throughout the year. Times tables, um, all of these online platforms, we will be sending out usernames and pass platform, um, passwords um, if you haven't got them already in the next few weeks. Uh, and we mentioned about spellings going out on Spelling Shared. Uh, we'll also send out the paper copy, which will have an overview for you. Um, part of the year three expectations for maths is knowing their three times, four times and eight times tables and being able to count up in the 50s and 100s. It's so, so important that children uh, regularly practice their times tables and they absolutely love um, TT Rockstars because it, they don't feel like they're learning, they just feel like they're, they're, they're having a play really. So yes, we will send out further links on these uh, and a bit more information. Uh, in the next few weeks. If you have any messages or anything that you would like us to know, then you can let us know by writing a little message in your child's reading diary and then we can have a look at that. Also, please check out the website where you can look at our Year 3 blogs and make comments on what we're getting up to in school. You can look at the newsletter, events, routines, and so much more. Remember, we've also got a Facebook page to keep you updated too. Thank you so, so much for all of your support and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you so much. Bye.